Hello? Snifter. And Dyson. Yes, and Dyson has been doing a bit of fighting. Can you see the red tinge to the fur? That's where somebody's been scratching him. And bring him just a little bit of blood to the surface of the skin, which has then painted the fur. You're going to come down there? Hmm? Come out. I'll come down. Get a biscuit. eat the camera but you can eat the biscuit do they keep getting stuck hmm? Or they keep getting stuck. Oh, I wipe a bit of fluff off that one. I'm going to come out and see if I can get a little bit of a better picture of this reddish tinge. Yeah, there you can see it in that shot. Aren't we, eh? You have been fighting, haven't you? Hmm? The whole front of you is red. You've been getting a lot of kicks and scratches. The front of your legs, the front of your neck. chest, forearms, yes you're a good boy, yeah, are you trying to become an eastern red kangaroo instead of an eastern grey kangaroo? Kerry and Kate mothering. I still maintain that if you adjust for lifespan and rate of development, that if human parents were to put as much work and time and energy into explaining how the world works for human children as kangaroos spend explaining the world to each joey, and letting them know that they are loved and cared for and wanted, 
and this is where you go to get water and this is where you go to get a feed and this is how you deal with this, this is how you deal with that. I reckon humans would be much happier than they appear to be. Because the kangaroos are pretty happy. Aren't you? Hmm? You know how to raise happy kids. And your kids know how to be happy grown-ups. And they know how to raise their kids to be happy. Not so many people have got that figured out. I think that will be enough for today, don't you? Dyson? Hmm? Dyson of the Roman nose and the red fur. Warbles on all at the YouTube. Yeah.